much. Now, while indoor masks are recommended for now, some businesses here in California are making proof of vaccination mandatory. We haven't found any local businesses making that move yet. Our Misha DeBona, though, takes a closer look at the issue. If things continue to trend in the wrong direction, we may see businesses ask patrons to show proof of vaccination or a COVID test in the last couple of days. So far in San Diego and here in Carlsbad, we have not seen that, but everyone that we talked to said they wouldn't mind. We might be going a little bit backwards right now. Unfortunately, she's right. COVID-19 cases driven by the Delta variant are surging. You know, this little stretchy piece here, here, here. Forcing businesses like Ulala La along State Street in Carlsbad to once again make tough decisions. I was vaccinated and had such a bad allergic reaction to it that I'm not able to get that second vaccine. So for me, I wouldn't be able to go into these restaurants. That's not entirely true. According to Fox 5 legal analyst Wendy Patrick, it is legal for a private business to refuse service if they require vaccination proof to enter. However, having a reason like allergies would force that business to make a reasonable accommodation. But for anyone else, it's akin to no shirt, no shoes, no service. The discussion comes as new mass requirements are announced and vaccination requirements for some government employees. In areas outside of San Diego, like San Francisco, some businesses are taking it a step further, asking customers to show proof of vaccination. I, I'm all for it. I really am because I'm over this, you know, and we're not going to be over it unless we stop it. In Carlsbad Village along State Street, restaurants are full. The weekly farmers market open for business. Guys, you want to try? Inside Ulala, La, their mail order and online business has sustained them. But like everyone else, they'll do what it takes to stay open and keep everyone safe. You have to be respectful of someone who's coming in with a mask on and be like, okay, that's okay. Um, and if the governor comes and says we all need to put those masks back on, then we, we need to do it so that we can get through this. For these shoppers, the idea of being asked to show proof of vaccination is an easy one. I'm okay with that. I, I think it promotes people getting vaccinated um, and ones that are on the fence, I think it's going to show them that they're not going to be able to do the things they want to do and go the places they want to go unless they do get vaccinated. So I think it's a great idea. And that's really what we heard from most people that wanted to share their opinion that it really is coming down. It really does come down to vaccination and getting vaccinated so we can all move on with our lives. Meantime, this is just a hypothetical conversation. What we have seen anecdotally in terms of masks, 50 50, a lot of folks wearing masks both in shops and out here at the farmer's market.